Oh, hey everybody. Just reorganizing my diaper bag now that things are getting a little crazy around here. I thought it'd be an interesting topic to talk about preparing for SHTF with a baby, especially since it's Father's Day weekend and I just had a newborn arrive. So I figured I'd talk about how my EDC and my go bags have changed because of having a baby and what it's affecting when it comes to preparing for SHTF. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today I'm going to talk about how I'm preparing for SHTF while having a baby around. Now, it is Father's Day weekend. I thought it was appropriate to discuss the idea of being a dad or having children during an SHTF event. Whether or not you're a mom or a dad, the same logic is going to be applied. But trying to keep a baby safe and trying to maneuver through an SHTF event could be extremely difficult. And it has changed what my everyday carry looks like and it has changed what my whole platform of go bag for when it comes to time with just me and baby is going to look like. I need to do a few things and some of those things involve making sure that the baby's comfortable, making sure that she can still eat even if mom is not there, and making sure that her needs are going to be met if for some reason in some kind of travesty or emergency, I get separated from mom and it's just me and baby out and about, how am I gonna make sure I take care of that child? So if you're worried about preparing for SHTF and you've had to change some of your EDC or your security preps or anything like that because of the way things are in the world today, Hit the subscribe button below so that way we can keep this conversation rolling. And happy Father's Day to all the dads out there this weekend. I thought that this would be a good time to discuss this concept and it is something that's currently affecting my daily life so I wanted to make sure to address it. Okay, so my wife got me this awesome diaper bag. It is super cool. It's from a company called Active Duty, but basically it gives me a lot of the modularity that I like in any of my get home bags or my bug out bags in the form of a diaper bag. So it has like an insulated bottle holder, it has the diaper changing pad, it has all the stuff you might need, but what's nice about it is that I can then adapt it and still make it a capable go bag for if I'm out and about and I, and I need to get going or get gone and I have the baby with me, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the bag, give you guys some ideas about the stuff that I feel is very important for when it comes to preparing for SHTF situations, especially if you're out and about with a newborn. And I do wanna mention very quickly that maintaining your gray man status when you have a baby is nigh impossible. When babies start screaming or crying, people become aware very quickly and you are going to be noticed. So trying to stay under the radar with a baby is difficult. Even just in normal everyday life, uh, walking through the street or walking through a store or wherever you might be, if you have a newborn with you, people will stop you and try to talk to you. They will try to look at your baby, ask you about the baby, talk about the baby, and it's not something you ever would have to deal with if you didn't have a baby with you. So thinking of that and knowing that an SHTF scenario could happen while out and about with the baby, Gray man status is extremely difficult to maintain, and if that's something you're worried about, then you're gonna have to go through great lengths to try to achieve that. But for me, I feel like just due to certain circumstances and the fact that I do have a newborn, I don't think gray man status is gonna be very applicable at all. I'm gonna have to pretend like it's not even an option because with that baby, people are gonna notice. So I gotta make sure I have what I need to get through whatever might come, and I have to make sure that the baby's protected, and baby and I can get back to mom, or get back home, or whatever it is we have to do. So I'll go through the bag, give you some ideas about the things that I find very important for when it comes to preparing for an SHTF style emergency for when I'm out and about with the baby. And this bag, even if you didn't have a baby, a lot of the items in it can definitely be important for you to carry around even if you don't have a newborn. So we'll go through it, talk about what's inside, and hopefully all the dads out there who are new to prepping and all the moms out there who are new to prepping can get some ideas about the things that they can do for when it comes to making sure that their diaper bag or just their everyday carry bag that they carry around to have supplies for their kids or whatnot has extra items in it and is more capable than just your average run-of-the-mill diaper bag. 
Okay, so like I said before, I'm gonna do a close up of the diaper bag, give you some ideas about the things that I have in it that can help in an SHTF situation for when we're trying to get from point A to point B, either back to mom, back to home, wherever it might be. If me and baby are out on our own and things go down, maybe an EMP or maybe there's civil unrest or who knows what, we wanna make sure that we can get back to where we need to be so that baby's comfortable and taken care of and the family can be safe and we can take care of each other, okay? so. First thing I wanna go ahead and point out is that earlier you saw me pulling my AR pistol here out of the diaper bag. I don't carry the AR pistol around in my diaper bag on a daily basis, but if there was a reason or a need for me feeling like I might need to, then I can. And what's nice about that is it actually does fit in the diaper bag. So it's something to consider especially if you have a concealed carry permit in a state like mine, where you're actually allowed to do something like that, then awesome in case you want to be a little bit more prepared a little bit more ahead of the game especially if you're expecting to encounter some kind of a hostile situation why not i mean you know what i can fit it in there and that's awesome but for the most part on a daily basis i do not carry the ar pistol in the bag so i wanted to go ahead and mention that before everybody was wondering if that's just something i do on a regular basis and if i'm some kind of a um, you know weird wannabe commando type not the case but i just wanted to show that that was a possibility okay so first things first um of course the standard issue baby stuff is going to be in here, but one of the things I want to mention and go ahead and go over real quick is that I carry a first aid pouch right on the front of the bag. One of the reasons I like this bag is because it's Molly compatible. So I have a Molly pouch right here. I was able to put right on the front that's dedicated to be an IFAC, just a quick first aid kit. Inside we've got Israeli bandages, there's a tourniquet, I've got all kinds of like boo-boo kit style stuff nothing crazy but enough to treat wounds like cuts or bruises or whatever and what's nice about it is that this is something that i can use for the baby if i need to or myself and especially if there is ever a terrible situation that arises i do have the ability to stop some bleeding if there's ever any kind of a, a wound of that size so I wanna make sure I have a good first aid kit with me, especially when I have baby, because obviously if she gets hurt, I wanna make sure we can take care of her. So I wanted to mention that, but we don't have to go through everything in it. It's just good to have some kind of an IFAC or personal first aid kit on the bag somewhere. And it is labeled just in case somebody else comes upon it and needs to use it. And I'm not able to respond or something, who knows, okay? So then we'll go over here. Um, Five C's of survival, right? You're gonna have cover, container, cordage, combustion, and cutting, okay? Well, here's my container. Um, this is just a good old fashioned matte black water bottle. Carry it here on the side. You need to have a way to carry around water. I mean, obviously just on a regular basis, it's good to have, but in an emergency, it's very important to stay hydrated. And if I need to treat this water, then I'm able to put some water in a container and then treat it when I'm able to. So containers covered right here. And then over here, I do have an insulated pocket which is for baby's container. So in here, I have a bottle ready to go and I can put formula in this if I need to and feed the baby. So you gotta have some way to feed the baby because they need to eat a lot and it's not gonna be more than you know an hour before that baby decides it's gotta eat or else it's gonna scream its head off and alert every one of your position, okay? So going from there, got over here, let's see here. Okay, so in here is like some emergency feeding stuff. So I've got a nipple right here, which attaches directly to these, which are basically um, little ready to use formula packets that you just stick this on top of and the baby can use them right then and there. So I store a couple of these in there just in case I need a quick feeding. Maybe there's something crazy happening and that baby needs to eat or I need her to be very quiet and happy for a minute. I can just do this quickly. I don't have to mix anything. I don't have to wait for it or heat up water or anything along those lines. It's just ready to go. And that way the baby can at least get some food in her system, okay? So I have those in there. And then I also have Pacifiers, like I said, maintaining gray man status, very difficult. Pacify that baby if you can. You wanna stay as quiet as possible and lay low and get to where you're going without alerting the entire planet that you have a baby on you, okay? So, these things are in that pocket. I'm gonna set those down. Let's see here. Okay, let's move down to this next compartment down here, lower in the bag. Okay, and this is gonna be my kind of quick access compartment. This is wipes which i'm going to be using regularly not just in case of an emergency as well as diapers 
So these are the disposable diapers. These are what we're gonna use generally. And what's nice about having a bunch of extra ones of these is that it can get you through a period of time without having to move to the next level of diaper, which we'll talk about here in a second. But this is where I keep the basic components of what I'm gonna actually probably be using in a situation um, that's not an emergency, okay? So I'm gonna set those back in here, okay? Gotta have my diapers, all right? Okay, so. Moving on, we're gonna get to the middle compartment. See, that's why I like this bag. Plenty of storage, it has a little bit of everything and it has a lot of compatibility like the Molly right here, okay? So, oh, redundancy. Got another bottle here because if one breaks, what am I gonna do? You know, I gotta have at least a backup just in case. So, redundancy in the bottle. Then I've got cloth diapers with safety pins that you need to have the baby wear the cloth diapers, okay? So these are in a packet just so I know I have them. I don't generally use the cloth diapers, so this is just to make sure if I do need them, I have the ability to attach them the way you're supposed to. And I have five cloth diapers with a little bit of an extra absorbent layer here. This is so if things take longer than I was hoping and I run out of the disposable diapers, I have a way to keep the baby happy. I have a way to keep the baby clean and I can still use these and repurpose these for other things if need be. So this is still just good to have either way, but in the sense of a diaper, extremely important because if things take longer than a day, you're gonna run out of those disposable diapers really quickly, okay? So I've got the cloth diapers here. Sawyer Mini should go in just about any go bag of any kind, whether it's a diaper bag, an EDC bag, get home bag, bug out bag, doesn't matter. Get a Sawyer Mini, it can do a lot for you, and it has the whole package here inside the container. So I haven't even opened this one, it's just for a backup in case I need to purify some water for the baby to make the formula, okay? So good to have, always have some way to treat water, okay? Set that down. All right, here's one of the other five C's of survival calories, right? Even though I think it was maybe number six now, but either way, I carry an emergency ration bar in the bag for myself. So if things get to the point where maybe my day turns into a really long hike, like I said, an EMP or something happens, well, I gotta have some ways to get calories into my system easily without worrying about setting up a fire or a stove or anything like that. And this helps keep me energized so I can take care of baby the way I need to, okay? So put this over here. And let's see, and in the bottom of the bag here, I've got two cans of formula, okay? So this gives me time. It buys me time to get the baby to where she needs to be on our journey or whatever it might be. Even if it turns into something like, let's say, an elongated lockdown. There's some kind of an event that causes a shopping center I'm at with the baby to be locked down for a certain period of time. And I, and I have to, um, you know, stay put wherever I'm at. I have some ways to keep that baby fed and happy during that time period, okay? So, lots of uses, but definitely carrying formula around with me. Okay, set that down, okay? And we're onto the large pocket, okay? So you can see, this is a simple bag. It's minimalist, but it's still a lot more than a lot of people would carry. But for me, it's somewhat minimalist because, you know, I'm just trying to make sure I have what I need in an emergency with the baby and for just daily comfort, okay? So one thing I suggest everybody have when it comes to a baby is a carrier of a quality brand, okay? This is a Lilla baby carrier. They're amazing when it comes to being able to be hands-free and carry the baby. And I think in any kind of like an emergency event of any kind, having this baby carrier and being able to strap the baby to your chest and be able to book it if you need to without worrying about holding the baby or without worrying about a stroller or anything like that is extremely valuable because this allows me to have both my hands free and allows me to approach whatever it is I might run into without worrying about what my hands have to do for the baby, okay? So extremely important to have a good quality baby carrier, okay? Move that out of the way. Okay. Let's see, plenty of clothes. So you gotta have extra clothes for baby. You wanna make sure you have plenty of new changes just in case, like I said, elongated period of time. Baby can get messy, get some new clothes. Blanket, gotta keep the baby warm. Okay, maybe this isn't the most uh, camouflage blanket that you could possibly have, but it will get the job done and baby likes it. So then we'll move on to, let's see, we got a changing pad right here in case you gotta set baby down somewhere dirty or somewhere, I don't know, a little bit um, less desirable than what you'd usually like to do, okay? And then 
my clothes. So I carry a full change of clothes as well, just to, you know, make sure that if I need to change or something happens and it's a long period of time, you know, I have additional clothes that I can switch into if need be. Okay. And then let's see, I've got this compartment right here. Another survival C cordage. Got to have some cordage, no matter what you're doing or where you're at, have a way to tie things if you need to. Okay. Cordage is amazing. You never know what you're going to use it for, but in any emergency, it can come in handy and it can save your life. So have cordage. And then this is an emergency sleeping bag. I always carry one in every bag that I have because it can either be used to keep you and the baby very warm, or you can use it as shelter. So that's one more C of survival, which is cover. This can provide that, especially in combination with the cordage. So when it comes to cutting and combustion and everything else related to the five C's, I carry my knife on me as my EDC. I carry a lighter on me as my EDC. I carry a multi-tool that has a knife. So I have a lot of redundancy. I have flashlights, more than one. I have another multi-tool on my keys. So there's a lot of things I carry everyday carry wise that help supplement this bag to basically be able to cover all five C's of survival and still get me everything I need when it comes to taking care of a baby. So I wanted to go over what I carry in the bag. I wanted to talk about SHTF situations with a baby, why you need that baby carrier to be hands-free. If you're gonna be able to use your firearm in a self-defense situation, you need to be able to make sure the baby's still safe. You need to be able to um, do your best to maintain comfort, maintain um, caloric intake, and maintain health on whatever journey that this SHTF event might put you on. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I wanted to go ahead and address the SHTF baby situation, especially for all the dads out there for this weekend, which is Father's Day weekend. And I just wanted to say thank you all so much for all the support. If you have anything else to say, leave it in the comments below. And that is going to be it for Magic Friday.